Hello everyone, Joe here. Today we're looking at the Reef Knot Bags notebook cover. This is the medium. There is also a large. This was sent to me as a very generous gift by the owner of Reef Knot Bags, Demetrios. I did a review on his large and small Ranger pocket organizers and after I ordered those I let him know I was going to be doing those reviews and as a thank you, he sent this along with my order. So while this video is not sponsored, I did not technically pay for the product, and so I feel obligated to disclose that. But it was a very generous gift uh, and very, very awesome. But I won't let it influence my opinion, which is very high on this product. So this is the medium notebook organizer. There is a large. What we're working with in terms of size is about four and a half by seven inches. We have four utensil wells. I have a limited edition Caran d'Ache ballpoint pen, a Palomino Blackwing 602 that has just been sharpened brand new, so it's a little long. We have a standard Bic pen as well as a standard Sharpie. It'll also fit, you know, your usual markers, highlighters, things like that, paint brushes for you micro artists. And then on the back, we have a little slip pocket for something like a Field Notes, Moleskine Calle or Moleskine Volant. Uh, this is kind of just where you put your whatever rough notes notebook and then your actual core notebook goes on the inside. Now in terms of the notebooks that can fit inside, the actual pouch itself, the cover itself, is a B6 size, but it, that means it can't fit a B6 notebook. You have to go a size smaller than that. It's meant for these little notebooks by Moleskin, which I think is a good idea on his part, is these little pocket-sized hardcover or softcover Moleskin notebooks. And I think that's cool because here in the United States, we don't use the international sizing. Just like every other metrics thing, we have our own way of doing things in the United States. So by having these sized based on Moleskin products, which are all over the world, it makes it easy for customers, no matter where they live, to understand the sizing of what this can handle. So it can handle these little moleskin notebooks, but they can also handle these pocket-friendly Leuchtturm 1917 notebooks for the international paper sizes. It can handle an A6 and smaller. And then obviously the field notes, moleskin volants, moleskin cahiers, as well as kind of weird random little things like this little Penco notebook that is quite thick but also quite pocketable. So it can fit a lot of small notebooks in here. This is intended for writers, micro artists, things of that nature. And then the large notebook organizer slash cover is basically the same idea. It's just a little bit bigger in terms of the wells. I believe it has five or six pen wells, and then it can fit your typical large moleskin notebook or in international sizes it can fit an a5 so that one is quite big that one's more for probably like your school your work and things like that whereas this is more for edc stuff that you throw in your your everyday carry bag or in your college backpack or something like that it's really meant more for the artists the writers and things like that though you could use this for work it looks rustic but still quite polished and professional in terms of materials we're working with what i also believe is kd38 just like on his organizers i'll link to the video i made on those where i explain kd38 in the top and in the description below i believe this is the camel tan kd38 and then we have a 17 ounce canvas here which i believe is wax canvas but it could be duck and i'm just really really tired and don't remember the difference but it has a very nice heavy duty canvas here so you don't have to worry about things like your rotoring 600s or anything that where the, the little nibs stick out you don't have to worry about that jamming through this as much as you would with a finer fabric like your standard cotton fabrics this will be able to withstand those even when the little nubs are sticking out and kind of needle-like. So I like that, very, very cool. I also like that because this is gonna be a high friction point, that this has the heavier duty material when you're slipping it in and out of your bag. I know when I was working a desk job as well as a college student, I would just throw crap in my bag and, and not really care in the world what happened to it. So I like that this is very heavy duty and is gonna really hold up. The stitching is very nice. You've got very good reinforced points at all the wells. On the side, you've got nice reinforcement. And then on the back, you've got some reinforcement over here along the zipper. So I think that's very cool. All the lines are pretty clean and straight and very well done. For a handmade product, this is really, really great. There weren't really a whole lot of loose threads or anything on the inside or the outside, which is great. I do expect those on a small handmade product when it comes to this. I always expect at least some loose threads. 
It's just a one-man shop. He's got to get some stuff out, but he actually did a really good job with this, and I barely had to clean up anything at all, which was a great thing because, you know, sometimes I'd rather not spend half an hour going through a product to make it clean. He already did that coming out of his shop. So right on for him. So overall, I'm just very impressed with this product. We're gonna be doing some testing with this. We're gonna throw it in not just my everyday carry bags, but also like my trail and hiking bags, just because that's gonna give it a little bit more damage, a little bit more testing. Obviously, you wouldn't throw something like this in your backpacking bag. It's really more for EDC, urban commute, artists, work, college. But we're going to put it in kind of a heavier duty bag where it's really going to get thrashed around just to see whether this material really holds up as well as I think it will. We just want to give it a really nice test. And we'll come back in, say, 6 to 12 months and give it a good, solid review. But so far, I've been very impressed with it. It fits everything I would want to put in here. Obviously, if you need more space or you want more of these, you can just upgrade to a larger notebook cover. His large is very nice. Pretty much the same thing, just a little bit more in terms of the tool wells and obviously in the size. In terms of price, this one is coming in around $46, and I think that's perfectly fair for a small creator, especially a guy over in the Netherlands. That's pretty much what I would expect from something like this, so that's really cool. And there's tons of you know cheap synthetic organizers and covers out there. There's tons of really expensive leather covers out there. So finding canvas is kind of hard to do in the first place, let alone finding quality canvas products. So I think he's really hitting a good niche that isn't being as well serviced as your leather fans or the guys that just want something cheap like a synthetic to put their notebooks and utensils in so he's done a really good job with this again thank you so much to Demetrios over at Reef Not Bangs a small maker out of the Netherlands and a veteran really cool very awesome gift thank you so much we will probably be doing more videos for him in the future I will let you guys know as that comes to be until then stay safe stay informed tell someone you love them and be sure to, you know, give a little smile even if you're not feeling up to it today because that could make the difference in someone's life. Till next time.